How's it going, everybody? I'm Michael, also known as Drifty from Driftwood Gaming. Thank you so much for joining me today. We're going to be doing a first impressions video for an RPG Maker MP project. This one is on a game called Pliss. This is a sponsor video by Sin. Thank you so much for sponsoring me. If you would like to sponsor a video in the future, please contact me on Discord. Links in the description below. So let's get started. This game is an early version game. It is not to showcase a demo. It is for feedback. So if you see something you like in the game, please let the dev know to keep it. If you see something you do not like in the game, let the dev know you want this changed in the game. I'm going to bring the volume levels down just a hair so that we're not um, super, super loud. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump into this game. Pilus, I think is what it's called. But anyway, we're going to take a look at the credits real quick. Moral support and testing these people. Thank you so much for everybody involved here. I'm going to give everybody a little bit of credit as they go down here. And at the bottom, we got Fernie and Peebo. Cool. All right, let's start uh, by looking at the options. I'm going to turn on Always Dash. It looks like we're going at 144, um, but we do have Sync Monitor FPS, so we can see how fast it is blinking. By turning it on, we've locked the game in 60 frames per second, so now that it's going to run at appropriate speed, uh, thank you very much for including that. Command Remember, we'll turn that on as well. Lighting effects and battle camera, why not have all that cool stuff in it? Let's jump into a new game and see what this is about. So I watched, a, um, or I read the help, uh, the readme to this, and it apparently has a huge change log. There, there, so it looks like a lot of effort has gone into it, um, but it's still very, very early. So uh, thank you for changing the default font away. So I'm, I'm glad that we don't have to see that again. Uh, question mark man, greetings, Miss Sophia. You had a pleasant voyage, I hope. Ah, hello again, Soren. The trip was fair, though I'm just happy to be on dry land again. Let me be the first to welcome you to the town of Lieta, and allow me to show you the headquarters. Lead the way! So this is all an auto run event right here. Got some uh, uh, default tile set, which could be placeholder. Boxy map, which um, I'm glad you cut the corners off, that's very nice, so it's not the worst map I've seen. It's certainly bigger than I thought. Giggity. This will be the base of operations, as well as living quarters of of the many adventurers coming from afar to deal with the creatures in the nearby dungeon. With you here to direct them, there may may yet be fewer lost souls, wandering in alone or into situations they're just not prepared for. We wanted to make sure you had every enmity you could use, and I myself will support you in any fashion. Bring this down just a little bit. Hey guys. What's this? Anticipating your arrival, you've already had a few adventurers show interest in our operations. I've already interviewed them. Each of them seem very capable. For simplicity's sake, choose one for now and I'll request for them as our first member. And you will probably see the other two later on. So the, the last paragraph, try to get that last word all in there so you don't have an enter for one word. And on this, when you have an and, you don't need to do a period and then start a new sentence with and. Just do a comma and lowercase the a in the and. Little grammar things. I'll try to Spit them out if it's not too much. Hmm. Sin, Gala, or Miyuki. Let's go ahead and select Miyuki. Here's what I want to know about Miyuki. Miyuki appears to be very skittish and de delicate, though she also seems very thoughtful and responsible. Miyuki is comfortable using staves with which she casts ice and healing magic. Do you wish for me to invite Miyuki? Yes, I want a healer. Very well. I'll ask if she could meet with us as soon as she can. Yeah. Let's go ahead and hit an F4 to full screen that. I think that will look better. Ah, you must be Miyuki. Thanks for coming, and so quickly. Hello, I'm here. Sorry if I'm late. You're not late at all. Let me give you a brief rundown in case you aren't familiar. In the area, there are a number of caverns and structures that house many creatures and monsters. If left unchecked, they wander out of these places and attack people and livestock. People have gone in time and people have gone in time and again to try and handle it, make their way to the bottom of these dungeons, but more times than not they come back wounded, or not at all. I will focus on collecting data and information about any dungeons in the area and will try my best to guide you in such a way that you aren't in over your head. Also, since we are still a small group, yet you can feel free to help recruit others to join us. Oh, I can try. Where should I go first? Well, the dungeon you should explore lies in the mountains to the north, so we've got to go up. I recommend hunting down Sin and Gala first, though. I think that's spelled wrong on recommend. They may be headed that way themselves. 
Also, there's some spacing things right here. For, just look around the outskirts for of Laetia. Le Laetia, however you say the town. When you do manage to find some companions, I will help you decide on who is going on an expedition. All you have to do is ask. All right, we'll take care of the paperwork. You can start immediately if you wish. Just be, please be careful, Miyuki, and report to me often. Oh, I almost forgot. I have some funds as well as a communicator. Buy some necessities before you head out. Okay, gotta remember to go check the shops. And I'll keep in touch with you. Also, necessities is misspelled, I think. My spelling isn't great, but I'll try to point out where I think you should check. Gain 600 coins, so we gotta remember to check before we just run out of town and die like an idiot, which I've done before. Oh, I'm sorry, one moment. Our name, I've decided, we are Pylis. Or Pylis, I don't know, I think I'm gonna just call it Pylis. Pylis sounds good. Okay, so let's talk to this guy. Greetings, Muki. How may I be of assistance? Rearrange the party? Let's talk to him again. Whenever a party is decided on to venture into the dungeons, the rest of you are welcome to relax in our rooms upstairs. If the leader of the party decides to pay a visit, you may have a moment to talk to each other and develop your bonds. There's a space between each and other that needs to be there. Hello, Miyuki. What do you need? Let's report. All right, then. Tell me everything that's happened. This could take a while. All right, we save the game. Take care now, and good luck out there. Let's take a look at the menu. Okay, it seems to be sort of a, a default-ish menu, but the font's been changed, which is good. We have a communicator. Sophia can get in touch with you on this. Okay. Let's look at their skills. Freeze. Equip. Um, I would highly, highly recommend changing the icon set. You can get a much better one if you go to yanfly.mo and just download that and change your icon set.png. Because the, the default one that comes with MV is atrocious. I hate it. I absolutely hate it. It's, it's appalling, and um, a lot of people use it, and I don't understand why. It's gross to me, my opinion. If you like it, keep it. I would say change it. Um, also, you can throw... Oh, you already know how to throw elements. You are Because I can see you've got that slash I uh, icon right there on this. So you know how to do that, right? Throwing elements right there. Throwing the icon for the elements, anyway. It's a Yanfly yeah, plugins here. It's a lot of Yanfly yeah, plugins. Hello, Miyuki. You look tired. I just made the bed. Care for a rest? No, we just... Anytime you feel tired, don't hesitate. We just uh, started, so I don't think we need to rest yet. Anything in the pots? No. Let's go this way. Okay. Let's go ahead and explore around a little bit. I'm looking for any interactables. This room is uh, too open. There's there's too much open space. Take this whole area and, and make it a little smaller. Of course, take everything I say with a grain of salt. This is all my opinion. I'm giving you feedback as if uh, I was designing the game as well. So if you like how you did something and I say change it, don't change it. You know, if you like it, keep it. But you're paying me for feedback, so I'm giving you what I honestly think, whether you want to hear it. Whether people want to hear me say it or not, I'm going to say it because I'm getting paid to say it. Oh, Oliver, you look so cute. Prr. My cute stuffed bear, Shiro. These seem pretty, uh, default, uh, it, it would make sense that your rooms are identical, so I'm not gonna really complain about that, that's fine. The mapping's not terrible. It's not, I've seen much worse. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and make our way out. I mean, in a, in like a, an inn or something, you would kind of imagine that a lot of the inns would be, a lot of the rooms would look the same. Okay, who's this guy? What's up? Want to practice on some dummies? Sure, let's practice. All right, then. So here's our battle system. We are looking at a side view battle system. It looks like we have uh, Echo's zoom in uh, battle preemptive thing, or it could be customized, but it certainly looks like the Echo's tutorial. Okay, we have Freeze. Let's take a look at this spell. Charging up. Okay, animation is uh, not customized at all. For that one, anyway. Okay, we have action sequencing. Okay, I'm going to build up our... I wonder if our MP will regenerate after. I just noticed that um, we apply the defense down state when we're casting freeze. So there's probably chance to add state with the spell, which is cool. I appreciate that. They, these fairies don't attack back. I'm just trying to fill my uh, bar at the bottom right to see what happens, if, if anything. 
It, it's not the TP bar, it's like the party party TP gauge. If you played Final Fantasy XIV, then it's very familiar on what it actually is. Assistance, there's nothing there. Um, items, nothing, we don't have anything. Um, only weapon and shield. I actually like having less things for your equipment. Um, earlier on in my game development career, I used to like having lots of things. I wanted head, shoulders, body armor, rings, belts, and all that stuff. But when you get down to, de to building a database, less is more sometimes than you actually waste time just putting so many extra things that don't need to be there. Okay, I think we've seen enough. Let's try to escape out of the fight here. Miyuki has, has tried to escape. I hope that helped. We got to see the battle system. Looking at the skills, we don't uh, immediately um, restore our MP outside of combat, which I would really expect them to, but that's okay. Hey, what do these kids have to say? Wow, I'm getting dizzy. Not sure how much more I can take. And then what about her? What do you have to say, girl? Little girl. Ah! Uh, I don't know if I can catch her. There it goes. Ah ha ha! I'm going to win! He already looks like he's going to lose it. Alright, so some uh, flavor text there. And we have like a little cathedral here. These guys don't uh, interact, which you don't have to have every NPC interact. Um, you could give them all flavor dialogue or maybe give them a tip. Um, like give them a, a hint in the game. You probably want to have at least this character or maybe this character say something back. So Also this room is a big box which you can uh, upgrade the map on this. You want to stay away from big box maps. Even even cutting the corner on this little spot really adds, it really helps. It still feels kind of big and open without much detail. But I see that you're, you're trying to get rid of like the box by adding these angles. Uh, these really help. These really help. Oh, hello. Are you new hunters here? Well, the first place new adventurers typically explore is the cave up the mountain to the north. Be careful now and stock up on medicine before you go. If you see a wolf monster named Lycanthrope, you might just want to run away until you're more confident you can handle it. It's a powerful monster known to end promising young adventurers. Monsters tend to get stronger the deeper into the dungeon you go. Be sure to heal up before challenging a new floor so you don't get caught off guard. Okay, we have to remember to find the shop and buy stuff so we can upgrade our, our stuff. These doors uh, don't let us go in. I'm trying to enter them. They don't appear to let us go in, which you don't need to enter every house. Not everything is, is that doesn't always need to happen. Okay, our secretary here in this building. This looks like a, a more of a futuristic building. We got like a stock thingy and we got a servers right here in the front. Hello there and welcome to the dungeon research lab. That's cool. I'll be happy to answer any questions you may have about our facilities. Uh, what do you do here? This facility was founded nearly 120 years ago by Marcus Aurelius Zafel. Mi Mr. Zafel founded this lab based on his passion for learning the working biology and ecology of the dungeons, coupled with the desire to protect the residents of Lida. Even to this day, we strive to learn all we can about the dungeons, its denizens, and what we can do to protect the people who call this area home. Okay, it's a little high. There we go. Okay. So no interactables. I would consider making all of your maps a little bit smaller and adding more stuff on them and maybe some interactables. And it would be a good idea to add an animation by making a parallel process of uh, an animation that just kind of flickers that little sparkle effect. So you can uh, let the player know of where interactables are so they don't have to check everywhere. I'm sorry, but visitors cannot access the second floor without a permit. Please understand. Okay, so we're not really supposed to be here yet. But it's cool that that is there. So far, I've seen a lot of uh, incomplete areas. But let's check out this shop. Uh, hey, what can I do for you? Let's check out the forge. What do you want to make? Okay, nothing yet. We don't have a book, so this is Yanfly's crafting system. I can tell just by looking at it. It's the uh, item synthesis. If you're looking at, uh, if you're looking for that plugin, you need a book to actually see anything. We got potions, magic waters, anti venom, gauze, stimulant, escape bell. I would recommend getting rid of the name of uh, stimulant and calling it something else. And uh, the default, the icon set is awful. Um, Escape bells are sold for zero. This is probably a bug, right? You're probably not, you probably didn't intend to make escape bells cost zero, or if you did, well then, okay, we're gonna use a lot of them then. 
But if not, you want to fix the pricing on that so that I can't just buy 99 of these. Okay. Um, we have 600, but I want to see if we can get some gear before I stock up on all my potions and stuff. Hey there, need some equipment? Absolutely. Okay. Um, Miyuki can use stabs, so is there any other upgrades? Um, the stick kind of hurts when you hit with it, but we don't have enough to buy it. It's probably an upgrade for Miyuki because she's got a twig, and a stick might be bigger than a twig. All of these look like pretty low quality weapons, which is probably done on purpose. To say, this is the first town, you're not going to buy great gear in the first town, which is kind of understandable. Um, let's see here. We can wear a hat, so a pointed hat would be a defense upgrade, and a light cloak would be a defense upgrade, probably. So let's buy a light cloak, and let's buy a pointed hat. And, yeah, that seems to be good for now. We're going to save up for probably the stick. And we'll go ahead and equip. Optimize. Yep, it already already upgraded. Cool. We can sell this other gear probably. Let's sell it. Um, sell the hat. We get five coins. Sell the cloth. Five coins. Cool. Not very much, but we don't need them there anyway. Okay, let's pick up some uh, medicines. We're going to need some potions. I'm almost sure... We might get poisoned, heals minor damage, cures bleed, and gouge. We'll get uh, another potion, actually, before I get an anti-venom. Okay, so we got some upgrades, we spent our money, we got some items. This is a dead end on this side, double checking, yes. So, none of these houses let you go in them, you can't do anything in this building, these shop. Uh, I talked to the NPCs there, so we've... Uh, Cut off all the loose, or we've tied all the loose ends on that, so we're gonna go north. Outside of Lieta, are we able to save it after doing it, all of that? We probably have to go back to the town and rest to save it. And for, uh, I, I'm hoping the battle system isn't, um, we'll see. I'm getting ahead of myself. Okay. Okay. Kind of a lot of openness. I'm not disliking the maps right here yet. I see something over here. We better see what's going on. Auto run. What's that? Uh, are those spiders? I'm just curious. Are those spiders? So, th that's so scary. So, if you're scared of spiders, she'll run away. But we'll say help her. Uh, of all things, why spiders? Certainly don't look like spiders to me. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Uh, are you okay? Help me with these things. They're gross. I'll tr try. Okay. We forgot to... We probably should have went back, rested, got our MP, and uh, and saved it. But anyway, we'll attack and see what's up. Flame Slash, Carve. Um, we need TP for this guy. We do have items. We'll attack. Okay, so the spiders have the basic animation for attack and the basic attack. So... Cut that. Give your spiders like, like a uh, leg, leg swipe or something. Anything besides the default animation, default attack. It's garbage. Too many games do that. Don't have any of your enemies attack, attack, attack. Boring. Nah, she's dead. Okay. What happens if uh? Okay, if you die in combat, you do not gain experience for the character who's fallen. Ew. Hey, thanks for helping me there. Are you alright? That was the worst. It really was. I'm glad you showed up when you did. Are you a hunter? I'm supposed to recruit people under the Hunter's Association. Would you be interested? The Hunter's Association? I applied there before. Yeah, I'd be glad to join. Great. Let's go see if we can find anyone else there. Cool. Gala joined the party, which is good because Gala seems to be pretty strong. And now we're going to go back to the town, rest, um, restore our MP, HP, and uh, save the game. Let's do that. Right here, right? What do you need? Report? No. Nothing. Uh, talk, rearrange part? No. Where's the one who let us rest? Was it this one? Hello, Miyuki. Well, you look tired. Like, beds for us? Yeah, let's take a rest. Please choose a room you like. Okay, we'll take that room. I hope you rested well, and please be safe. Cool. So, do, yeah, brought us back to life. 
full, uh, brought our stats up. Um, let's talk to the one that lets us save the game. It, are, are you the one that lets us save? Please take care. What do you need? Report. Alright, then tell me everything that's happened. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, that's how you save it. Report is saved. Great. So do we have a quest log? It would be cool if you did uh, a quest log here. So we can remember what we have to, to do. And just to keep track of everything that the player uh, has accomplished. Like, does anything change in here? Nope. Okay. Meow, meow. Okay, so I'm gonna run through the forest again. Suppose. What's up? Want to practice? No. See you around. Has anything changed in here? No, there's nothing in here. Okay. Let's make our way north. Another guy here. You should take a moment to take in the view on the other side of the river. It's nothing to hop across really quick. If you ever find yourself lost, see if there's a place you might be able to hop across, especially in the dungeons. Wop, wop, wop. Cool. We did it. Now we're on the ledge here. And uh, I think that's pretty much all we can do. That was just a tutorial to show that you can hop across stones. There's a little graphics bug here. It looks kind of funky in this spot. You can touch that up easy. Also, some of these are missing corners. You can see that they're missing corners, but it's a minor thing. I don't think most people will even notice or care, so I wouldn't worry about it. But yeah, you need to add corners. See where my mouse is? There's, there's a thing that you can add. There's right here, here, here. Most of the spots are missing little corners. I'm going to be nitpicky because I feel like um, you don't have to do the things I'm saying. I'm just giving you more stuff to think about. You did see a character there. I'm going to go back and take a look at it. The statue gives off a warm feeling. Let's. Okay, cool. That's all right. Better than a save crystal. I like that. Better than a save crystal. This here is the cave everyone comes from far and wide to see. Take it from a local. Don't get cocky. Don't take it lightly. You may just lose your life. Let's give it a shot. The Zeltal Dungeon. We did just save it right outside, so it's not like we're... If we die, we can still load it from right there. Okay. Cool. I'm assuming random encounters at some point. The, if, if so, the encounter rate seems to be pretty lax. I like it. Okay. Let's throw a freeze and uh, let's do a slash. Bam, got him. Got him. I think we can just attack and attack and we'll kill him. Conserve some MPs. Bam. Bam. Yeah. Cool. Alright. Now we're fighting something new. These are rats. Uh, we'll throw a freeze and then attack the other one. See. Got him. The rats to appear to be slower than Miyuki, but faster than Gala. I'm assuming that who's going first is based on their agility, and most games is like that. For MV, anyway. Nothing over here. Kinda feel like there could be treasure chests, or little hidden things. A few more incentives for exploration would be nice. It's a lot of open maps with no, uh, with, with incomplete decorations, which I know you're not done, but some treasure chests could be scattered around. Oh, here we go. I see a treasure chest in there. A little mini chest. And one up there. So you are throwing... Ooh. Okay. I like that. Yeah, that's cool. A little segue. We got a tough belt. We need to equip that. Also, our HP is getting pretty low on Gala. I don't want him to fall because I don't know if I have a stimulant. But I need to put on that tough belt or at least check it out. We got a level up on our main character, on Miyuki. 
So, um, accessory? Yeah, it is an accessory. Probably made of leather. It gives us three more defense. We're gonna put it on our caster, because, um, she's got less, uh, HP, and she's more vulnerable. So we wanna beef, beef her up a little bit, so that she doesn't just get one shot by something real strong. Also, do I have any... Should I use items? I should, huh? Only heals 35%, but it also gives a static 10, so that's pretty good, actually. We'll, we'll, we'll spend those and make our way back. Do we get enough coins to buy it? No. It's 115 or something for a potion, so we did spend like 230 gold so far in here. We got 100 gold. So we, we basically used the gold that we found. I'm sorry. We basically found the gold that we consumed when making the when using the potions. We're out of MP, so these battles are going to be a little more gruesome. Okay, combat's not especially entertaining. There are some action sequences in there. Oh, what's going on here? Excuse me, if I may, you're new, tra traversing these dungeons, are you not? Then please, let me encourage you to take caution and keep in mind there's a general good shot back in town. I know some new adventurers are rather rash and don't properly prepare before coming here. For my own peace of mind, please take these. Five potions, five magic waters, three dispel herbs, and a stimulant. Cool, please be careful. Good, that was, that was sort of necessary at this point, because this is going to get real shaky real soon. That didn't happen. We do have Cure now, which is great, well, since we got that level up. Awesome. Very awesome. But it means I'm not going to be casting Freeze. I'm going to be saving my MP for Cure, most likely. Actually, let's go ahead and have her use a Magic Water on herself. And then we'll just basically have Gala. Another thing I would like to see is Preserve TP. It It's not going to make the game worse by giving Gala and all your characters Preserve TP. I think, if anything, it's going to make the game better. So, just on all of the characters, right-click in the in the the traits and give preserve TP. That way, TP will pre will last through combat. Combat goes by so fast that you're never going to get, you're most likely not going to get a chance to use your moves on Gala. I haven't even seen them yet because by the time you get the TP to use them, everything's dead. So, if you give them preserve TP, you can start the battle. You know, you, you use the battle without TP, you get your TP up in one battle, the next battle you use your TP, then your next battle, after that you build it up, and so forth and so on. Um, I think it would be a better approach, honestly. Just give preserve TP to all your characters in this, in this case. Just a thought. Okay. What does this guy say? Oh, hey there. How are you both doing? We're just going on our first dive into the caves. You don't say. I was just taking a small break myself. I like the character art that you're putting in the, the bust art. Sure, you can come. I don't see why not. Let's go. All right. New party member. Sin, join the party. All right. How about that? We have a little bug here. So this, where Sin joins the party, you have a little bug. You can fix that. Hello, is this your first time here? If not, then I can help you speed things along. Though I do recommend getting your entire party together first. Are you ready? Yes. All right, then here you go. What does that mean? What happens? What's going on? What? Miyuki is now level 15. Ice Shield learned. Hilo, he not Halo, but Hilo he learned. Sinastri, Gala learned. Cheer learned. Refreshing Dust learned. Blizzard learned. Gala is now level 15. Flame Wave, Inferno, Sharpen, Wind Blades, and Furry learned. Sin hits 15. Dual Slash, Thunder Blade, Thunder Clap, Spark, Static, Chain Lightning. We got some toys now. Let's play with these new toys we got. We hit level 15. We got a new enemy here too. Refreshing dust, let's take a look. Okay, ice shield, reduce physical damage taken. Also retaliate against attacks with defense reduction. High yellow. An ice spell that gets more powerful when used consecutively, consecutively starting at, starting over at five stacks. So use it and then get stronger, stronger, stronger. And then five stacks, it starts over. Here is just your healing spell. I did notice that your your cost is going up as you're leveling up too, so I'm assuming they're getting more powerful as well. Refreshing dust, blizzard. Okay, this is your 150 T. Oh, it's not TP. It's uh the party gauge. Okay, in assistance we get Sinistry Gala. Attack an enemy with volatile ice reactive to Gala's Inferno skill. So 
So this takes um, MP and TP, and then cheer for TP. Cheer's not like boosting their TP. Okay, cool. We don't have the things to... Let's go ahead and look at this high yellow. Okay, moving on to the next thing with Gala. We've seen Flame Slash, or we haven't actually, no. Flame Wave. We'll try Flame Wave. And, uh... With Sin... Oh my god. Please don't use Spark. That looked cool. That was awesome. That was cool. Could be a put a treasure treasure chest down there or something because like a, um, a disappointing curve. You don't really have to though. It's not that long. Um, let's try ice shield. Wait, yeah, why not? I want to see what it looks like. Um, well, we only have flame wave because the others take TP. I want to see spark because if it's the default animation, it's like base palm. You know, you don't want to use that. Flame Wave, though, nice and powerful. We're probably way leveled up because of that NPC. Who took us from level 2, or level 3 to 15 immediately. Whoa. Okay, we got some new enemies. Let's go ahead and try. Um, we'll just do that. And we'll attack. And what does he got? Spark. Let's see what Spark does. Okay, you changed the default animation, but it's still a built-in animation. I would rename it, don't use Spark. Don't use anything that's built to the default of MV. Just avoid it like the plague. Like any namings, you know, any, any spells that were, that were named. Okay. We'll do Flame Wave. Pretty much Flame Wave is the most OP. Chain Lightning is in here. They're all dead. Got them. Heck yeah. Just smashing through them now. Can't say I'm going to complain for this test run. But it makes it uh, a lot easier. But this is like a dead end uh, that I've... No, it's not. It's not. Okay. Roboto. Um, there's really no point in wasting MP on Miyuki when Flame Wave is going to kill them all, but I'm going to try Flame Slash, because I haven't seen it yet. Also, I'm going to try Static. Okay. Flame Slash, looks like. Yeah. So I haven't really seen any custom animations yet. I've seen action sequencing. I've seen some minor action sequencing. Some camera work, you know, that plays automatically at the beginning. We'll just attack, and then here we'll just do a flame wave. No, we don't need to do that. We'll just attack again, and have you do uh, chain lightning, because I haven't seen it yet. I want to see what it looks like. Okay. Let's move on. Next floor. More of the same. Pretty much. Okay, we'll try attack, and then we'll do flame wave. Can we jump across here? Oh, we can! That was really cool. I do like that. That's really nice. Okay, the mapping on this is okay because of the ability for the smart jump that you put in there. And we'll just attack, and we'll flame wave. And it really doesn't matter, flame wave is going to wipe them all out. Boom. On to the next. Sweet. I like the pacing. I like the pacing with flame wave. It's probably OP, and you probably want to change it, but for this, it's working for me. Um, optimize. We'll put on the hide armor, that's a good defense up upgrade, and even some agility upgrade. Cool. 
And then is this the end here? I think this whole progress, this whole path was to get to that uh, armor upgrade, which is pretty decent. Makes sense. Makes sense. So we'll attack and we'll. Oh no, not guard. We'll just flame. We can't flame wave. Um, so we'll have him attack, and then you can do a uh, chain lightning, I suppose. Zap. Okay. Okay, Chain Lightning is an interesting move. You target one, but it does multiple things. It hits... Probably hits... Mul I mean, it does hit multiple targets. I need to see it again in action to really know. I'm gonna guard. I'm gonna guard, and I'm gonna Chain Lightning, and I'm gonna look at... I would imagine it's gonna hit the other one as well. Zap, zap. Got him. Got him. Yeah, that's cool. Okay, outside of combat, I'm gonna use a magic water. And there we go. Wait, I think we can exit right here. We'll just have her attack, cons uh, conserve that MP. Or, yeah, for healing. Flame wave and guard. I have a feeling that if I didn't get boosted, this would be too many battles. It feels grindy. The only reason that it's that the pacing feels right at this point is because you're giving me um, instant kill moves. Like they don't even get a go, you know. But I have a feeling if we were level three right here, ooh, we would just be having a hell of a time getting through this. Like too many battles and. Um, Random encounters are just not fun, really. Trying to find a solution for that, you could space them out correctly in a way that you don't have uh, random encounters anymore, but you have tiles that always take a battle at first. So you can kind of like, uh, you can decide how many battles the player has to fight. By like boom, on this counter it could be on this tile or whatever it could be invisible, and then a switch happens once you fought it. You'll never have to fight that spot again, which is fake random encounters, which is a way to control the number of battles that's actually going to be on screen. We'll do a magic water on Gala, and you can do chain lightning. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna get that treasure first. Can I run away? Let me see what happens if I try to run away. We got away. Also, you sold uh, those escape items, escape bells, for zero. Escape from the dungeon, but I wonder if you could use it in. I thought it would let you use it in combat to escape battle. We'll see how that works, if it's even able to do that. So, we're down to the next level. I'm not sure. Um, what number are we on now? Three or four? That's too far to jump, so we can't go that way, but we want to get that treasure, probably. New monsters on this level. Still using default, uh, MV stuff. Attack, attack, and we'll just throw out a spark. Bam, bam. Should get him, maybe? Who knows? No, gash! Okay, so this, this uh, level gets significantly harder. Okay, so let's throw that. And then we'll just attack again. And maybe try static this time. Got a lot of HP. Giant leap from the last dungeon to this dungeon. Is this a boss? It certainly feels like a boss fight. The number of uh, uh, HP he's got comparatively. And he's got uh, some state. We're going to try to throw a cure. And we'll do Flame Slash. And we're out of MP, so we'll do a Magic Water on Sin. This guy's got too much HP if he's not a boss. This is a random enemy, he's too much HP. Especially considered we were given like 12 levels to the whole party. 
Like, unless that was supposed to happen. Okay, let's try stab. Huh, we do have some sort of poison effect on us. We're gonna keep healing. Okay, this is a an AoE, which is good. Uh, I'm gonna attack and special dual slash. So much HP. That looked cool. It gave us a regeneration, but it didn't actually give us a instant HP. A nice regeneration, though. Very nice regeneration. We have plenty of MP on this character, on Miyuki, so we'll throw out some spells right there. Flame Slash takes TP. Might as well use our TP. Um, Mana Blade. For three turns, since normal attacks recover his own MP, attacks also lower for his thunder resistance. Okay. He's still alive. Wow, he's got a crap ton of, H of HP. Mana Blade. Okay. Um, freeze him. Oh, not guard. Furry. Let's try furry. I haven't seen that yet. And we can do thunderclap. Or I think it'll only do one of them. One, two, three, four, five times eighty. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, that worked. So ten hits of around eighty. That did about eight hundred, then four hundred. So that did about twelve, thirteen, fourteen hundred damage somewhere around there. We got a bronze bounty token. Was that the thing we were supposed to get? Was that like the boss of the stage? Maybe that was a rare encounter. That would make sense if it's like a rare encounter. Okay, it's cutscene right here. Hmm. All right, little sequence, really cool. Auto run still. Oh, hello. Can I help you with something? Sorry to bother you. I'm just passing through. I'm Miyuki with Plis. Pilus. Pilus, huh? <clears throat> <clears throat> My name is Rath. I'm with the suppression division of the dungeon research team. I had heard there's an ogre that had taken up residence on the next floor and has been posing a threat to Dungeon Delvers. I'm headed there now to neutralize it. Your job sounds awfully important. Would you rather we handle that for you? Huh? Well, you do seem confident, but do you have what it takes? If you seem so sure, then be my guest. But be careful. Ogres are strong, and given the warning, this would be an incredibly stupid way to die. Let's... Okay. See you around, I hope. Let's find out if this ogre is all he's cracked up to be. I was kind of... Uh, I thought he was going to join the party, to be honest. If he was came out here... If that guy came down here to kill the ogre himself, why would he um, not accompany us to, to kill the ogre? Okay, so that wasn't like an extremely rare encounter, was it? Because we got into this fight again. I'd rather not fight him, honestly. I'm going to just run away. We can't run away. Okay, I'm going to try to see if we can use the item that lets us escape the dungeon. No, you can't use it in combat. Okay. So I'm going to try to run away one more time. You can run away. It's just a percent chance, probably, that, that you're unable to run. It's not like locking you in combat, though. Which is good. You don't want that. You don't want to be locked. Is this the ogre? Looks like an orc, really. Assistance. Let's have her attack. All right. We need cures. Uh, we'll just do that. And then you can do flame wave. And then if that thing is still alive, uh, I guess hit it with a chain lightning. Burn. Got him. Cool. So I don't know what floor we're on now. This is like the fifth or the sixth one, probably. Wait, is this like a big circle? Hold up a minute. Wait. Huh? We came this way. Do we have to go up through here? This is weird. Um, what is this about? I don't understand the the. Why is this here? Escape. Why do you have this map? What's the point of this map? Can you go out here? Is this just a dead end for no reason? 
There's a, I see a crack on the... Oh, that's very subtle. I see that. I see what you did there. And because you put nothing there, it makes you look for something. If you put a chest there, it would be very confusing to the player. I'm glad there's no chest in that spot. Like, clearly nothing, so you have to search for something. Let's go ahead and take our way up here. Treasure chest here. Bronze daggers were found, but the music stopped for some reason. Why is it so eerie? Um, does the fighter use a dagger? Yes, and it gives less defense, more magic attack, 10 more agility. We're using it. Optimize. I think we have everything best on. I don't see any cracks in the wall. Let's go ahead. And... I wonder why that music, why the music stops in that room. Is that just accident? Let's go this way. I'm kind of done fighting these guys. They're just super weak. I'm running away. Hmm. The mapping's not terrible. I mean, it needs... I don't know. I guess I would want more uh, a different kind of lighting. Like, maybe use a lighting plugin. That, that's what I feel like it's missing. So let's check this out. Since we have daggers, we seem to have gotten new abilities here. We've got Sharpen and Wind Blades. Attack random targets with Wind Blades. It's a dagger skill. And increase an ally's critical hit rate. Let's go ahead and do Wind Blades. I want to see what that looks like. And it looks Chain Lightning in case Wind Blades is super weak. It looks cool. That was cool. I like that ability. Yeah. Neat. Yeah, lighting. It needs a lighting plugin. I'm not saying make everything super dark. Please don't make everything super dark. Um, but maybe add torches on the wall where you have plenty of lighting, but it's like there's some parts that are dark, you know? Let's do wind blades. That seemed to be a custom animation. I don't know. Get closer. Mm -hmm. That makes me believe if you did the custom for that dagger skill, did you do another custom for the other dagger skill too? Probably so. I'll check it out. Crude sword was found. It's, uh, probably the spell sword. Yes. Three more attack. Just a sheer upgrade. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna fight this guy because I want to check something out real quick. We're gonna start off with uh, freeze. Now nah, we'll do high low, and then um, we'll sharpen on Gala, and start with static. No, no custom animation for that. That's high low. Will get stronger this time. We'll just attack. Spark, I guess. Mono Blades is what I should be using on Sin for this fight, because he's going to be around to do enough damage. Okay. Wow. It's not too, it's not too overpowered, though. We're just going to throw a cure out. Um, I want to do Carve. I've never seen that one. Um, and also, what was it? Mono, mono. Oh, I wonder why I don't have Mono Blade now. Is it? Was it because of the weapon I had gave me Mono Blade? I don't know. We'll try this though. Oh, cool! Cool action sequence. I like that. That was really nice. The healing was also a custom animation. So there are some custom animations in here. There's some action sequencing. Nothing that goes like crazy overboard, but it doesn't really have to be either. This Lycanthrope is the super strong one of the area. We still get it because we got that like boost to level 15 right at the beginning, at the top of the dungeon. Which I don't think is supposed to be there. I think in final version that would probably be removed. But for a quicker playtesting, we'll do Furry. I think that'll probably kill him. Or we saw Furry, didn't we? We can um, do Thunderclap. But I think Furry will go first, yeah. Action sequencing, some, some custom animations in there. Very cool. We got that bounty token. So we have two of those bounty tokens. Let's take a look at some of our items. Token received after defeating a dangerous foe. Traded in town for something nice. 
Okay, we have some potions. We don't really need that, but we do need magic waters. Who needs it the most? Probably the one who can heal. Yeah, she'll get the most out of it. It's our last one, so I gave it to the healer. No, we're not gonna fight him again. Uh, let's just run. Yep, yep, yep. We're out of magic water, so we're on a limited budget of MP. We're gonna run away. Okay, here we go. Wait, now we're backtracking! Uh. Okay, I got lost in this labyrinthine dungeon. I'm just gonna run. Let me run. I don't think we went this way though before, so this will let us try a new route. Um, yeah, oh, up here. Nope, running. Cool. It's not too harsh, like, it's pretty forgiving. Making our way down. So we did do some sort of loop. Somewhere I got. I got backtracked or something. Let's remember we went here. I don't know how we went we went in a circle somehow. This takes us up here. Oh wait, I think we went down in there. What does this do? We have to go this way. Nope. Mm -mm. We're gonna run. We're gonna run. I don't know if we went in here before. Pretty long dungeon. Pretty long dungeon. Ready? Oh, I think we got to the end. We can't save it though. Rawr. The ogre. Okay. Assistance. Uh, magic. Refreshing dust. Uh, we'll start with that. We're also going to start with the sharpen to increase our critical hit rate. And well, I guess we're gonna have Sin uh, attack since we, we used up all his MP and we don't have any more magic waters. This regen will help us stay alive. Okay, at least Sin does a little damage. Mm, I don't wanna use her MP for her damage because I know we're gonna need her for healing. So I'm actually gonna have her guard and then I'm going to attack with the other two to build TP. Gotta get rid of that default attack, man. Ice shield only works on one character, not worth the MP. Refreshing dust is still active. Uh, active, we're gonna guard. Um, we're just gonna attack to build up TP. Quake, okay. That wasn't too strong. You could increase the power of Quake. It's pretty weak. It needs to be like maybe three times the strength. Four times the strength. If I carve, deal consecutive hits to an enemy. Carve them up. What do we got here? Let's do a dual slash. Yeah, 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 yeah. Carve does good damage. Hmm. <laughs> Okay, once again I'm gonna have you guard. Oh wait, you got TP. Hmm, a cheer, boosting their TP. Attack an enemy with Volatilize relative to Gala's Inferno skill. Let's try that. Just wanna see what it looks like. I don't, never, we never tried it. Evade, no. Um, attack for TP. And you are also going to attack for TP. So the enemies don't do a lot of damage. They probably would be doing a ton of damage uh, at like level 4 or 5 or 6, which you would probably be by the time you got here. I got boosted pretty high at the beginning. Um, what does this do again? Boosting their TP? Let's give TP to Gala, because actually Sin is the one who does the most damage, so I'm going to do TP boost to, to Sin. And we'll do... We've seen Furry plenty of times. I'm going to attack, but I'm going to do Thunderclap, because I haven't seen that one yet here. Boosting TP. Thunderclap. A thousand damage. Just one hit. Kaplow. Cool. So it's not as entertaining to watch, but it's equivalent damage. I'm going to redo a refreshing spell. 
and we're going to do a carve here and a dual slash here. I think we're doing all right considering we're above level. Also consider putting in HP bars for some of your enemies. Not necessary, but I prefer to see HP bars. Give me an idea if I'm gonna be here all night with hitting the same guy. We'll go ahead and cheer Gala this time. And we'll have... I haven't seen Inferno. But he's using a dagger, so I probably won't be able to see it, actually. So we'll just attack. You get... Monoblade? Let's do Monoblade. Okay. Keep up the car. We'll do a dual slash. Does that still give MP or only basic attacks? Or did Monoblade not apply because I've got two steps? Oh no, it seems to. I'm not sure if, if it's, uh, you're allowed to have two, more than two states in this game at the same time. Interesting. Just gonna guard. Or actually, yeah, we're just gonna guard. And you are going to carve again. You are going to dual slash. I should have did a basic attack that time. Darn it. Just to see if it would give him MP. All of the enemies are super weak in comparison to where we're at. Blizzard, I've never seen that yet. Let's take a look at what that does. And we'll also carve. And, uh, Mana Blade is weird. Huh? Doesn't appear to have a cost. Action sequencing? Cool. I like your ac action sequencing. I do. It's just enough. Just enough to get by. 1000 HP, we got a token and 800 coins. Very nice. Hello, Miyuki? Sophia, I'm here. I don't want to pry you away for too long, but I need to discuss a couple things with you. Could you come see me as soon as you can? Well, color me impressed. Wrath, why are you here? I see you handled yourself pretty well there. Let me be the first to congratulate you on your first milestone. Our first milestone? Over there! That's a teleporter. You can leave the dungeon from here and return to this point anytime you like afterwards. Again, good job with that ogre. You just might know what you're doing. Sorry for telling you, but I wanted to be sure you didn't get yourself killed. I'm sure I'll see you around again. Okay. Basic tome was found. Is this going to let us craft stuff? I'm assuming it's what, a crafting thing. A basic magic tome detailing simple incantations. We can't use it. Not sure really what it does. Symbol on the ground is very peculiar. Warp to the dungeon entrance? Yes. Does that let us go back in? The statue gives off a warm feeling. Would you like to do? Save. Yeah. Move to floor five. And then we go up, right? Right, okay. Well, let's go back and... Oh, excuse me. We're gonna go and buy stuff and upgrade. Get some potions and then see what else is on floor six. Okay. Um, we'll do the shopping and then we'll go save it first. Shopping first. Some equipment? Yeah, what can I get for upgrades here? Wait, cap would be an upgrade for these two. Get a couple caps. Um, pointed hat for sin. Um, hide armor for sin. Thick cloak for sin. And that's good. Okay, cool. But we also want to get... Stick doesn't seem that it does any upgrade. Like, I wish I could see more information. It'd be really cool if we can get more information in the description of what it does. Like, just say the stats it gives with help. Anyway, what we'll do is optimize to save some time. 
Boom. Optimize. Next one. Optimize. Next one. Optimize. Good. Okay. And then we can buy some magic waters would be the most thing we need. They're also pretty expensive, but we do need them. Let's get four of them. I'm um, going to pick up uh, another stimulant. I think that's good. We'll get magic water. Five magic waters. Now that we have that tome, can we craft anything? Forge. We don't have any uh, explanation. Deep in the local dungeons are sometimes powerful monsters that can seem that seem to be much stronger than other monsters on the same level. Kill them and bring the, bring me back a token and I'll make you a new weapon. Bring me lots of them and I can make that weapon stronger. If you need to know what weapons I can make, check the bookshelf. What can I do for you? Forge. Well, um, we're not allowed to... We, there are a total of 37 recipes, 36 of which are weapons. We can't do anything yet, still. So... Oh, we got a bronze recipe book. Okay. Maybe now we can forge stuff. Huh? We got the book, so we can forge stuff. Okay, we need the tokens and uh, other items as well. Nice. Glacial wand. Whoa. Let's see. Assassin's bow. Starlight sword. So basically, uh, upgraded weapons. Let's go ahead and go with the wand. Yep. And we'll do the thunder brand. And we'll get a blazing edge. Okay. We got three weapon upgrades. Equip, synergist with a glacial wand. Four attack, one defense, and ten magic attack upgrade. Bronze daggers go to a blazing edge. Huge, a huge upgrade. Yes, very, very nice. Optimize that. Okay. Oops, one more. Hello. Uh, equips the spell sword with another huge upgrade. Great. Awesome. Very, very nice. So this should make a, those fights even quicker. And we got the magic waters. Now we're going to rest, save it, and go take uh, floor six and see what else is in the next part of the dungeon. Oh, I think she's the one. Ah, Miyuki. Uh, I did, we meant to save it, but it looks like we're getting some progression here. Ah, you're back. I see you managed to recruit a few friends. That's good. Have you gone exploring yet? We managed to clear down to floor 5, Miss Sophia. That's really great to hear. I just have a couple things to discuss with you. First off, Soren seems to have noticed something to have been following you. That appears to be the case. I don't know what their intentions are. I haven't seen them around here before, so they could just they could just be another adventurer. Watch your back nonetheless. Be careful. I also have a strange feeling about the western side of the mountain. It's hard to describe, an anomaly of some sort. You can choose to investigate it if you like, or err on the side of caution and avoid it. Both suit me just fine. With that, any questions? Stalker? I kept my eye on him since noticing his odd behavior. Aside from watching your group, he strikes me as a bit of a loner. He never really parties or meets with anyone. He does seem to fight, however, as he carries a bow with him at all times. And the anomaly? I can't really explain it very well. It doesn't feel threatening, but it feels weird to me and only recently materialized. It's very curious. With that, any questions? No, we good. Alright then, with that... I won't keep you any longer. Great job out there, and please be careful. Okay, let's go ahead and talk to this lady. Rest up. Yes, please. Yes, I'll take the heal. Okay. Do, do, do. Okay, she hopes we rested well. Uh, we need to report to save it. Okay, wait, we, get, we got him. We, we, we good, we good. Down, down, okay. All right, let's go and take that teleporter now. We've been upgraded. We've restocked. We've got the storyline progression. And uh, we need to go see what's on the next floor. Mm -hmm. What's this guy saying? We already talked to him. We don't need to go in this from this entrance. We have to teleport to five. It'll be a long walk if we just go from that entrance. Cool. Move to floor five. All right, now we're on floor six. Okay. Don't know what to expect here, but we're gonna run around. New enemies. All right, we'll fight them. Well, that guy is moving super fast. Okay. Going to attack. Flame wave. Chain lightning. These will take him out. 
It's amazing that the guy that's on fire takes damage from fire. Maybe you should make him absorb fire or take zero damage from fire. You know, play on the elements a little bit more, definitely. I don't want to fight this guy again. It, it's good, you'd want to fight him because this is how you level up your weapons. But I'm sort of get, trying to get to the progression. And I feel like we are, party is strong enough due to the boost we got at the beginning. Is this a, a dead end? Maybe, maybe not. Okay. Hmm, it's weird. Bit of a dead end. No cracks. Definitely a lighting plugin. This looks odd. I don't see a handle. Okay, so we need a key or something to get through that door. Hmm. Okay, so let's try to find the key to get past this door. A lot of backtracking if you didn't get the key. I missed it somewhere. Here's a chest. Maybe the key's in here. Yeah, make these guys immune to fire or take fire, uh, less fire damage. 600 coins is not what I need. Need a key to the door or a lever. Nope, 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 nope. Huh, this is also weird over here. It's like you're missing part of the map or something. Didn't we come down this direction? I missed something. I'm backtracking now. I missed something. We'll find it. Oh, we're running. I think it was this. Yep. Okay. Cutscene. What's going on? I know you're there. Could you come out? Oh, well, aren't you sharp? Music change. I like how you did the... the the music changed there. Hey there, well, why were you following us? My name is Cyrus. Cyrus, Cyrus. Pleasure to meet you. I was just looking to get a feel for the kind of people that would be working on behalf of that new association. I mean, I'd consider joining myself, but what would be the point if I could do just as well on my own? So, you wanna join us? Well, before I la lend you my expertise, I'm going to have to test you. Don't take it personally. I just have to see if you're up to snuff. Also, friendly tip, you might want to fight like your life depends on it. I'm not very good at holding back. So I, we could probably game over here, I'm imagining. Okay, I don't think that'll be a problem, depending. We'll do a heal, just in case. We'll start off with a flame wave, and we'll do a... Static, to see if we can stun him. Toxic shot, uh-oh. Poison, great. Nine rounds of poison. Well, we got a critical on that, that's probably going to help us. Wonder if his poison is stronger than our regeneration. We're at 142 on Miyuki. We'll take a look at it after the turn. Nope, our regeneration is way stronger than his poison, so we're not even gonna worry about it. But I am gonna do a uh, high low and try to stack that up. And then we're gonna do flame slash. Uh, and we're gonna try to stun him again. Maybe it's got a percent chance to land. The new weapon upgrades we got definitely make uh, our damage go up quite a bit. I do like that. Wow, okay, poison seems to be stacking or something. I'm gonna do a cure. Also, I'm gonna have Gala do an anti-venom on Miyuki. And you are going to do static. We gotta see if we can stun him. Barb shot. He's just hitting straight Miyuki. He's just going straight for the girl. Come on, stun him. Get the stun. Maybe he's immune to stun. It would make sense that he's immune to stun. Okay, we'll do high-low again. And, um, do we need to do Flame Wave? Yeah, we gotta do Flame Wave. Um, Static doesn't seem to be doing anything. Let's, uh, do, uh, Chain Lightning. Bam! Chain Lightning. Ooh, lots of damage on that Chain Lightning. He missed! This is the fun part! 
Oh, I like how you did that action sequence. Oh, come on now. 5 HP! Wow. Okay, we're gonna redo a refreshing dust. I'm gonna have um, Gala throw a potion on Miyuki, and then we're gonna do Chain Lightning again for another 170 damage. Hopefully, if it criticals, it could even do more. Luckily, that hit was on Gala, not Miyuki. Keep that regeneration going. Poison seems to have worn off, though. On its own. 179, that, that's a good good damage number there. Let's do Blizzard. Oh, wait, wait. Hmm, should we do Blizzard? Didn't do as much damage as the others, but we do have a weapon upgrade now. Let's see. Flame, flame Wave. Chain Lightning. Barb Shot. Da da da! 450 damage. Got him! Is he gonna join us? He should join us. Alright, alright. Time. I get it. That's more or less what I wanted to see. A little unrefined, but I'll take it. I'm going to head back to your fine establishment and get sorted out. See you there. Maybe we have to go back to, to do something else. I'm glad that worked out okay. And uh, then what? Do we have to go back again? So much backtracking if we do. Did, did that open up something else? Oh, wait, wait, hold up. I think we go this way. Nope, running. Uh, unable to get away. Basic attack! With a basic attack. Fire pelt, at least they have some of their own moves. That looked pretty cool. Actually, it looked really nice. It was cool. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, I'm gonna fight these guys because that action sequence was pretty neat. I'm just gonna do basic attacks and see if they do some crazy attacks. I notice our attacks are, have changed now that we've changed our weapon too. Fire pelt looks nice. They can do cure. And they have bite. So your enemy oh and it can be poison too. Interesting. So your enemies don't have all basic attack. That's very, very nice. Matter of fact, I would get rid of the basic attack completely. Just so uh, people wouldn't get the few people like me who would notice and hate it, but the basic attack. We got something there. What was that? We got a piece of gear. A fire charm. A trinket. A tricket. I think you mean trinket. T-R-I-N. Uh, K-E-T? I don't know. Trinket. That bestows the wearer a fire affinity. Okay, well, we're gonna... No, not on you. Who's synergist? Oh, we, we got Sirius in the party now. How did he get in the party? He said he was going to go back to the fine establishment. herp de derp Tough Belt gives more defense. I like that on Synergist Fighter. Uh, Blazing. She already has a fire affinity, but we'll, I guess we'll put it on her. I don't know if she has the a fire affinity, but you can see she does damage with fire. Okay, we're going to run from this time. We know the enemies have some skill. Is this... Oh, okay. That's why it looked like part of the map was mi missing. It's not that the map is missing, it's that's where you jump down. The Gala, can you equip the shield? No, who else can equip the shield? We got a buckler. Basic tome? No, no, wait. Is that shield though? Uh, here we go, buckler. Four more defense, great, great. Take it. And then this jumps us down. But the thing is, we're, we're put here again, and we still, what is this thing? Nothing. We still don't have a way to open that, that thing, the, the gate. We didn't get a key. I'm gonna try to run. We're unable to run. Whatever. This will be a longer fight. Wait, wait. Okay, cool. Maybe all we had to do is beat that guy first. It's weird, because look, it shows Cirrus in the party. But he's not a follower, and he's not in combat. So that's a bug. You can fix that. Okay, here is where the little thing is at, right? And then we have to go in here and maybe it unlocks now, right? I don't see a handle. No, it's not. How do we get past that? Okay, we're going back to town because maybe we have to just talk to somebody, trigger a switch. Maybe this... Wait, hold up. Maybe now that we've got that dude in our party, we, this is different. No, it's not. Oh, oh, I know, I know. Item, escape bell. Give me that bell, yo. Ding, we out. Okay, cool. I like that. We still have to do some backtracking here. Um, this map could use some work. Just a little bit.
in the corners of the mountains. Okay. What? No. Okay. Let's get a rest and uh, recover our stats from this person right here. Yep, 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 yep. Nice. Let's go in here and see if we have to talk to somebody to, pro to progress the story or get that thing open. Rearrange party. Um, um, change the empty slot to Cirrus. There we go. Okay. We need to get a key to open that door. It's not immediately clear. Now, I read something in, in your help file, the one that said, Hey, Drifty, read before you play. I read that whole thing, but... But still, at this point, I don't remember what... Oops, I didn't mean to do that. I don't remember. It's, you said, It was so vague because I didn't play the game yet, so I'm not sure what you were even referring to. Go to the other side. Like, that's like so vague, I can't... It doesn't make sense to me when I was reading it before I played the game. It's like, go to the other side to get the key. And, and I don't know what that really means, the other side, or... Okay, I'm gonna go all the way to the other side of town here. Maybe that's wait, is this character wasn't here? Oh, these girls were there. But this one wasn't moving. Monsters tend to get stronger the deeper the dungeon. No, we talked to them. Okay. This is something different over here. This was dead end. Maybe this has changed now. Maybe this is different here because the Well we we already talked. We we read all this. We we did read all this. What what else does it say? How deep are the dungeons? Pure volume research, uh, pure floor. There's the threat of monster attacks that get much more risky the further down you go. Right. Never mind. Okay. And then there's nothing else. What about this person? Be careful in the dungeon, Miyuki. Worst case, I wouldn't get the chance to find you. Are we allowed to go up here now? No. Okay. So still nothing in here. Nothing. Okay. Have any of these rooms opened up now that we've got farther? No, there's still nothing maps. Okay. No, I'm, I'm not sure. We're getting towards that point. Are these guys still NPCs that say nothing? This map needs to be changed, you know what? These NPCs say nothing, it's a big box map. This does, this is unnecessary. It's unnecessary. Um, okay, I'm gonna look to the other side. Maybe we go this way. It seems like the path leads to the same spot. Do we go up here? Is this... Nope, that's roadblock. Anything secret here? No. There's a lot of empty places where you could put secrets. There's a lot of, uh... Missed opportunities that you can still uh, utilize. Since it's early beta, it's not, like, missed, but, you know, for my experience, missed. Maybe we have to jump across here now that we've got farther. Ooh, ooh, something's different here. This guy wasn't here. Uh, hey, are you okay? Can you hear me? We need to get him back to town. Please hold on. Thank you for eliminating the backtracking and it just took us there. That was good. He seems really healthy, aside from a few scrapes I took care of. He should wake up soon. Thank you, Doctor. So, he was just laying there on the cliffside? That's right. I hope he's okay. Here, again. Whoa, hey. So, you're alive? Alive? Where even is this? You mean you haven't been here before? But you just said... No, no, it's a figure of speech. You are in the town of Lieta. You were found unconscious in the mountains, and we're, and were brought here by Miyuki to be looked after. Unconscious? Was I? Must have gotten in over my head. Guess I'm in your debt. Uh, it's fine, I'm just glad you're okay. Were you wandering somewhere? We found a weapon on you. You look rather tough. Wandering more than any man oughta, I'd say. Starting to make it a habit of winding up in odd places. Guess if I took, if I looked the part, something's going right. Well, if you didn't, if you don't know where you're headed next, maybe you could help the townsfolk a bit by helping explore the nearby dungeons. We're still looking for all the help we can get. And if you're lost, maybe you'll find out something during your stay. That is, if you think you've got time. He's thinking about it. Ever feel like you've got too much time? No. Yeah, you're right. I'm sure of it. I'll find my way back one way or another. I'd be glad to lend a hand. 
That's wonderful, but one thing, what is your name? I'm called Wyatt. I'm an astral knight from a place called Saturna. Oh, that sounds very impressive, Sir Wyatt. Tch. Just Wyatt is fine, really. Alright, then just Wyatt. Let's go introduce you to the others properly. Cool. Alright. Let's make our way. This place feels familiar. I wonder if the stars look the same. Wyatt joined the party. Okay. So now that we got Wyatt, let's see if there's any more progression here. Nothing. Okay, we'll save it. What does this guy say? Let's see if we can rearrange the party. So we just got two new party members. Toy Bow and Wyatt is what? A sword? He's a stargazer. He's level 5. Sirius is level 6. Um, this guy's got better gear, more defense, but he's a lot slower and he's unlucky. Um, I don't know. We're going to try Wyatt. Sorry, Sirius. We're gonna, you don't even get a shot. The other guys I'm keeping because they're a higher level by a lot. Um, so let's continue on then. And um, actually, let's go and see if we can buy some gear upgrades for Wyatt before we head out there to see if we can get past that door. So we'll go buy Wyatt. What do you need? Anything? Anything, Wyatt? Cat for sin. And, oh, and uh, crude sword for Wyatt. Okay. Optimize. Wait, what? What? One defense for two magic attack, and uh, or for one magic attack and one magic defense. Nah, that's not an upgrade. And I wish you would put descriptions that show the stats. That would be a good upgrade. So we know not to waste our money on items. Equip with uh, what did he? What did he get? Optimize. Crude sword. That's right. Four attack, worth it. Okay. Maybe we can get some more magic waters while we're here. How much money do we got? We got nothing. We got we enough for one potion. Okay, cool. Alright, let's go. Wait, what's over here? Maybe there's... This is the way to... Nope, it's not. It's nothing. Okay, this way. Let's go ahead and uh, hit this. We're going to do a save right here. And we're going to move to floor 5. And we're going to see if now, with this dude, we can open that hidden passage that's missing a lever. Anything else in here? No. Wait, wait. Can we go to the right? Is this a continuation? No. It's just an empty room. There's no cracks in the wall? No. Nothing's there. Okay. Huh. I want to see what Wyatt does. Attack, attack, attack. Waxing? He's got a solar crest and two of the stars. A physical attack. A physical attack that switches to waning stance, so it changes your stance. So I want to see Solar Crest first. A stellar art that inflicts a magical debuff combos with Umbral Crest. Just kind of want to see. Whoa! Cool. Didn't do a lot of damage because his level's a lot lower, but it looked cool. To the stars. I don't think... He's got lower agility because he's such a lower level. It did apply some state to him. I saw a new status effect on him, on the enemy. Okay. okay, we're gonna run now. Wait, did we look up here before? Yes, we certainly did. And you jump down from there, and there's 600 gold in that chest. And there's literally nowhere else to check. I've checked everything. So if we go to this thing, this this has to be, this has to be how we get in. Is we get this guy. Nope, not up here. Unless there's a cutscene we have to see up there. We'll check if this doesn't work. This looks odd, doesn't he? Oh, okay, really? Really? So how do we get in here? 
I've spent a lot of time trying to figure this out, and I have no idea still. Even with your text hints, it, it doesn't make sense to me. This seems to be like the cutoff point where people are going to be like, well, I don't know. You know, and I'm sure you, the dev, are like, it's so easy. It's like you do this and it's right there. And everybody sees that their own creation and their own puzzles as simple because they made them and they designed them. So they know and it's just like so easy to them. But when you don't know, it's just very confusing. And it's really uh, kind of like too much backtracking. I'm guessing here. I'm just, I'm like guessing. Something I'm missing. I don't know. I'm going to give it a few minutes, but if we're still backtracking in a few minutes, I think we'll call it. What are we at? Like an hour 30? You know, that's pretty good. Let's see. We looked up there. No, 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 no. Maybe we, just, we walk in this thing. It doesn't look like a... Come on. No, no, no. Just escape. Yeah. Getting, getting, uh... A little frustrated. We jump down and we jump down. It puts us back in a loop. Okay. Well, I think that's pretty much it. I can't figure out how to get past that door. Maybe that's the end. There's probably more to the game. There's pro I'm pretty sure there's more to this devil. Counter rate is, is a little a little aggressive too. But yeah, that's gonna do it for this first impression. Um, thank you so much for sponsoring this video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments below. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up, like, favorite, share, subscribe to the channel if you're new here. I really appreciate that. I love you guys so much for supporting me on Patreon. You guys are awesome. Continue to do so. Um, yeah, subscribe to Cheese Channel. I'm gonna put some cards where you can see um, other game creators and everything. Um, if you have any questions, you can always hit me up on Discord. Uh, my database is filled up on requests, so if you want me to do your first impression video, consider sponsoring a video for a very, very small price. Hit me up on Discord, you'll see um, the, the offers I, could, I think is pretty fair. But yes, love you guys very much. Continue to stay awesome. We'll see you guys in the next one. just don't know what to do. We can't really get much farther. This, this, we failed the run. I want to go back and check the door, but I know it's not going to let us get anywhere. Is, is there anything over here? There's nothing over here. Hmm. I went the other way and we got the guy. There's really nothing. But I, is there's is there a secret path here. There's nothing up here. And then, like, this, this is kind of weird. Like, there should be a lever right here. You know, like, hit the lever, boom. And then you walk around. It would be, make total sense. You could even put a boss fight in front of the lever, you know, to, if you wanted to. Or, or... Oh, I did, uh, was informed that if you change formation, which you can't do here, it changes the battle music, right? You said that, but I'm not able to do that inside of, outside of combat. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.